In the meantime, the Supreme Court on Thursday slated December 15 to deliver its judgment on the appeal that is seeking to compel the federal government to release the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namdi Kanu, from detention. A five-member panel of the Apex Court, headed by Justice Kudirat Kekerekun, okayed the matter for judgment after counsel for both federal government and the detained IPOP leader adopted their final briefs of argument. While federal government was represented by a team of lawyers that were led by an acting director of civil appeals at the Federal Minister of Justice, T.A. Ghazali, Kanu's legal team was led by former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Kanu Agabi. Even though Kanu Agabi led Kanu's team of lawyers, it was Professor Mike Ezekome that presented his appeal to the Apex Court panel. Ezekome prayed the court to not only order the immediate release of his client from detention, but to equally award a very heavy and punitive cost against the federal government. We now humbly appeal to the government of the day to immediately, without any further delay, with the urgency of yesterday, release Nam Dikanu that he may come out of is illegal and unconstitutional detention with the courts up to the court of appeal have since pronounced upon but is still legal illegally being held there today so that if we come out and join hands with the rest of us in rebuilding this nation That is Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.